today we're going to show you how to use game controllers in your Tesla. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm JQ Louise and today we'll be showing you how to use game controllers in your Tesla to play the games on the screen. But before we get started, be sure to like this video and subscribe. We own a 2021 Tesla Model Y and we're sharing our entire Tesla ownership experience. Everything from delivery day to installing accessories and going on road trips. So definitely check out our links below. But for now, let's get started. Okay, so if you own a Tesla, you know that there's something called the arcade. And this is where you'll find all the games you can play on your actual screen. So, and with the new update, there's actually some new games in there that are definitely worth checking out and we'll show you those as well. Today, we're gonna show you why you should use a game controller to make it a little bit more fun. And it's just something nice to have in your Tesla for at the supercharger or when you're waiting. We actually did it on the ferry the other day. So let's get started. All right, so as you know, Teslas have built-in games in the arcade. And it's really cool because you can use the steering wheel and the brake. They tell you not to use any of the stalks or the gas or the accelerator pedal, but you use the steering wheel to drive, whether it's the beach buggy racer or asteroids or any of the other games, you use the steering wheel as an input. And in the case of beach buggy racer, there's actually, you can do two persons, in which case you use the screen to do that. And we'll show that later on. But what's really cool is that you can actually use real game controllers. So we have a PS4, or we had a PS4, and these are the DualShock original Sony controllers. They are normally Bluetooth controllers, but for this case, we're actually going to hardwire them. So there's a, a micro USB, and what we're going to do is we're going to plug that into the center console. In our 2021 Tesla Model Y, we have two USB-C ports. So you can use a variety of adapters to uh, hardwire these in. You can also use an Xbox controller and they have generic game controllers as well. But we're going to use these controllers because one, we already have them. And two, I like the fact that it's hardwired. I don't need to replace batteries. I can leave these in the car because we're no longer using that console anymore. So I get to recycle something that, you know, we otherwise wouldn't have used. So to get these connected in, uh, I'm going to actually use, again, existing cords and adapters that we have. So. We have a USB to USB-A cord, um, which came with the controller. And then I'm going to use this Apple USB-C to USB-A adapter. Again, we already have these because, you know, Apple removed a lot of the ports on the laptops, so we can repurpose these. There's other types of adapters like the Apple one with the HDMI port um, and a couple other things that will work as well. We'll show that on a recent road trip to Cape Cod when we were on the ferry, we ended up using that adapter to plug in and you can see me playing the video game on the ferry. But right now I'm gonna show you how to plug this in and then I'm gonna show you how to do two play. So all we're going to do is plug this into the back of the controller right here, just like that. And so now this controller is ready to get plugged into the center console. And so if you look, down here, there's two USB-C's on the back here. We have our nice six foot USB-C to lightning cord for when we have our phone over there and we want it plugged in. And we have our J1772 adapter and our lock. Again, something that we'll link down below. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and just plug it into one, I'm gonna plug it into the left side right here. Now let's do the second controller. So I plugged in the second one. And now watch, as I plug in the controller, we're just gonna plug it into the USB, flash is yellow. So both of these are now plugged in. Okay, so we have the new version 11 software. So everything looks a little bit different in the arcades in a slightly different position, but it's right now under our recents, but to get to arcade, you hit the three buttons, the three dots, and you'll see arcade. And so it pulls up, you can either be in the theater, the arcade, the toy box, or the browser. So we're in the arcade, and so as you can see, there's lots of different games, but one of our favorites, and what we're going to show you that you can play in two player, is this Beach Buggy Racing 2. So we're gonna hit play, and we're going to hit okay. And as you can see, both of these cords are plugged in. So we have our two adapters going into the center console. We have our USB-A to micro USBs plugged in. 
Okay, let's see which one's player one. I would assume that the one on the driver's side is player one. So, as you can see, I'm just moving the joystick, or this, and I'm, it's working. I didn't have to program anything, I just plugged in. Let's go to setting, we can turn down the music. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to two player. So, for whatever reason, I'm not sure why, the driver's side is acting as player two and the passenger side is acting as player one. So that's kind of interesting. Because maybe they're assuming the driver wants to play with the steering wheel and the secondary person plays with the controller. We can look this up, but in any case, this one's the secondary, this one's the driver. Um, let's click continue and what we're gonna see happen is, I guess maybe choose a different person. You can hit X is A, O is the, um, I'll show you how to throw uh, your power ups or things like that. Okay, so option is pause and uh, A start, B is gonna be O. So what's interesting is, yes, I think it's because I can drive like this. Again, they tell you do not press the gas pedal and do not touch the stock. You can only use this or the brake and then you can actually just drive like this. So this is how you normally do two player, but now, you can use the controllers. And we're back in the main menu and you can use either the pad over here or the joystick right here. Option pause of the game. X is that A, O um, is a lot of power ups. Triangle um, is the others. If I go to settings, you can change the music, the volume, and then extras, we found some of the power-ups. So here are some of your power-ups uh, that you can use. Fireworks, freeze ray, remote control. So a lot built into this game, which is pretty awesome that this is part of the Tesla. So again, O is back. And what's interesting is this one, you can play two player like we showed, and you can either use the controls on the screen or player one can use the steering wheel. But now let's go look at what else is in the arcade. So if you tap up top, you can adjust the volume, the brightness. Here's your interior temperature and we can hit X. So now we're back out. And so what's really cool with the most recent update is that they actually added in Sonic the Hedgehog. So Sonic the Hedgehog is a one player game, but this game actually requires a controller. So we have to be careful. Hopefully there's not any proprietary music, but let's see what we can do. This one is plugged into the first, the passenger side, like the other one. Okay, so the one plugged into the driver side is not doing anything. It requires, as you can see, controller. I'm using this. And what someone actually commented on our holiday gift guide, which is really a good point, is that although you can use the steering wheel, the steering wheel is unlocked, you're actually moving the tires back and forth on the ground, so that causes some friction. Again, that's not gonna be a ton of wear, but it's something, you know, might as well use a controller, have more fun. Let's just play some Sonic. So the games on the Tesla are pretty fun. I mean, Beach Buggy Racer is actually a blast. I mean, it's a pretty fun game. It's super easy to play. So you can just dive right into it. And for us, we use this when we're waiting at the supercharger on road trips. And we actually just use it when we're on the ferry going to Martha's Vineyard over New Year's. So it's a fun little thing to pass the time. And with the controllers, it really feels like a real game and it makes it even more fun to play. So I think it's definitely worth grabbing some controllers. We'll leave some options in the links um, in the description below for different um, price points and that kind of thing but you can use PlayStation controllers Xbox controllers that you already have and you're probably not using and you might just have to get the cord to use it so it's super easy and I think it's a really fun perk that you can do in a Tesla so just a few safety things to keep in mind you know this is a lot of fun to play games in your car but you are using your actual car to play games especially if you're using the steering wheel as a controller so just keep that in mind they do put up this warning that you know you need to keep in mind that you are in a car you're in a tesla so do not use the gear stock or the accelerator pedal while playing and as soon as you exit the game 
you know, know that you will be back into your normal Tesla driving mode. So just keep that in mind. Be safe. Do not allow kids to play this unattended because, you know, it seems like a fun game. But, you know, if you shut it off or something by accident, you need to be careful. So just keep all that safety in mind. But otherwise, have fun. Okay, so that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing how to use game controllers in your Tesla to play the arcade games. It's definitely a lot of fun, so I recommend giving it a try, and we'll leave links to everything that you need below for the controllers and the cords and all of that, so check those out. But for now, be sure to like this video and subscribe if you're interested in more Tesla content.